All right, welcome back, viewers. I did lie a little bit. This time around, I will just go ahead and go down the list and show off the magnums. Now, there are only three magnums in the game, and I only have access to two because I'm not doing the mercenary mode. Uh, you have the Broken Butterfly, the Killer 7, and the final magnum is the Smith & Wesson Model 500, which I think is labeled hand cannon as in this game. So let's get these upgraded. Thank you. So for the Magnum, uh, when you uh, the uh, Broken Butterfly, when you fully upgrade it, uh, the exclusive for the Magnum is substantially more expensive than the handguns, as you can see, costing 150,000. But more importantly, it increases the uh, firepower. So this thing jumps up to a sweet 50 uh, damage for the firepower. And the Killer 7, unlike the Broken Butterfly, does not actually get an exclusive. Actually, unlike, I think, every other weapon in this game. It's weird, actually. I mean, all around, the Broken Butterfly is better than the Killer 7, with the exception of the capacity and the reload speed, which, I mean, a two-second reload speed's a fairly decent trade-off when you consider that you've got a 50 firepower. So because of that, we will go on and show off the Killer 7 first. So even though it's got a scope on it, the scope's actually just a laser pointer. It's actually kind of funny. Bye bye. Oh. You actually dropped money. So a unique quirk about the Killer 7 is it does have a penetrative ability. And unlike the Punisher, I don't think there is a limit on how many enemies it can penetrate, but I could be wrong. Gotta suck. Yeah, it's gonna run by you. What's up, on again? So, fun quirk right there. When it comes to having powerful weapons, the Dr. Salvador does not actually die instantly like what you would think. Pardonnez-moi? As there is another thing I uh, want to do. There's a old rumor about how if you climb up here, 
they will burn the clock tower down, as it were. But, no, they just throw up uh, Molotovs to try and force you down. Which, if you want to avoid, all you gotta do is just uh, hang out over in the corner, and for the most part, they won't, uh, be able to hurt you for a bit. But, uh, the rumor basically stated that if you, uh, hung out up there, they'd burn it down completely. So, I might as well summon up, uh, good old Dr. Salvador again. This actually be a decent opportunity to show off the penetrative power of the Killer 7. And might as well reload this as well. kill Dr. Salvador. Well, that about covers it for the uh, Magnums, as again, I don't have the killer, uh, the hand cannon, which uh, the hand cannon, I believe, has the same stats as the Killer 7 and the uh, Broken Butterfly, with the exception of when fully upgraded. Uh, there is no reload speed because you don't reload. There is no capacity because it gains infinite capacity and the firepower is upgraded to 100. So basically it has a uh, 0 0.7 fire speed. Well, we'll uh, see y'all next time when we do whatever weapons are next. I believe the shotguns. See y'all soon, viewers. Cheers.